Hey everybody, happy Monday. Coming at you again on a Monday. Um, I think this is the second Monday in a row. Anyways, I've got like a clusterfuck of things that I want to talk about that are somewhat yet not related, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, also, I want to make another video soon, like kind of the funnier ones that I did earlier. I just haven't had the time and the fact that I'm kind of on vacation this week. More about that later. Um, might complicate that plan, but maybe next week I kind of want to do that. So the first thing I want to talk about, and I kind of got this idea from the Baby Beaver Bunch, because at first I thought like, you know, I'm almost 25 years old. Is it like a little creepy that I love watching like 16 year old girls talk about being gay? No. Because it makes me think about when I was in their shoes and we all share the same experience and it's really fun to go back and relive that and I really like some of them. I really like Cassie and Haley and I like everybody but I've just, I don't know, I think I personally relate to them a lot when I was younger. But so last week they kind of talked about whether, one of the things they talked about rather was were you a gay kid or not? And made me start thinking that I was like the gayest kid ever and I just didn't realize it. I wasn't a gay kid in terms of, you know, the stereotypical playing with Tonka trucks or cutting my hair short or wanting to be a guy. I just loved girls. I used to l wait until the end of the school day so I could go home and like daydream about like my babysitters, teachers, dance instructors. I fell in love with everybody and at the time I just it didn't even strike me as odd. It was totally normal. I just kind of fell in love with everyone and the best part is kind of people finally figure out you're gay and they're like, oh my god, did she, she had a crush on me. <laughs> if you had tits, I probably was in love with you. So just to clear that up, yes, I was in love with you. It doesn't go across that way with all lesbians. It was funny though because as much as I loved girls, I never thought about being gay and I never thought about being a lesbian. It wasn't until I was about 15 years old and my family dragged me into family therapy for god knows what, you know, usual teenage angst and the therapist is sitting there and she's asking me the stupidest fucking questions like, what's your favorite color? Um, what kind of movies do you watch? What are your friends like? You know, just normal stuff like that. She's going down this list, we're talking about colors, we're talking about school. Then she pops out this one. And what would you say your sexuality is? And I'm sitting here in a room and I've got crazy, she also had like this eyebrow thing where it looked like it was being pulled up by like a hook. So I've got hook eyebrow lady and both my parents who I don't even really talk to in a room and I was just like, fuck it. I was like, well, I like boys. Well, I like girls. I guess I like both. I guess I'm bisexual. And that's how I came out as bisexual. And the best part was is that my parents being in a therapist's office, they probably didn't want to come off as horrible people. So they were just kind of like, oh, really? And then it wasn't talked about again, ever. I had boyfriends in between that time. And Basically, when I had my first serious girlfriend when I was 21, I had to re-come out as a lesbian, and still, they didn't really care. It's, you know, you feel like coming out is going to be this, like, epic experience, and people are going to freak out, or you're going to feel some sort of relief, or for me, it was just like, this is who I am, and nobody really seemed to care. So, um, so I guess I'm lucky in that regard, but, um... Still, I mean, I guess I would have liked it to have a little more feeling and be a little bit more of an experience for me, but I can't complain, right? I think I'll start with, I think I'll go into a story about this. It'll be easier to explain, but so my girlfriend's family is in town, which is awesome. Um, you know, I really do consider them my family, and first of all, they're way cooler than my actual family, but second of all, you know, we spend holidays together. They're very much in my life and vice versa. So first of all, I've been with my girlfriend four years, and I just recently realized that I don't think I've ever addressed her parents by any sort of title. I feel weird calling them mom or dad. I feel weird calling them by their first names. I don't really know. I just realized that in four years, I've probably had a thousand conversations with both of them, and I've probably never used any sort of, like, pronoun before speaking to them. I just talk, so... Maybe I should figure that one out. What I don't know. What, every, what does everybody else do? I guess it's whatever you're comfortable with, and I'm not really sure what I'm comfortable with yet. 
So the other thing that I wanted to talk about in regards to family or your girlfriend's family, partner's family, is I am out at work. It was quasi on purpose, you know, kind of more one of those things where I told one person who told another person, and before you knew it, I was the office lesbian, which is fine. But so everybody at work knows I'm gay. They know I have a girlfriend. They know who Katie is. They know what she does. I brought her to the Christmas party, which is a whole other story. But that was actually really fun. Katie was really pumped that I made her come with me. But last week, I found myself in the break room with another woman, and I told her I was taking Tuesday through Friday off because my family was here, and we started chatting, and she said, you know, who's coming? Is it your mom? Is it your dad? Do you have siblings? And then I kind of had to stop and scratch my head because I'm like, well, it's not really my family. And I kind of sat there for a second, and she just chimed right in. She's like, oh, oh, you mean like Katie's family, your in-laws? And I was like, yeah, I guess, more or less my in-laws. But it was cool because I heard that she might be, like, not homophobic at all, but just, like, you know, maybe a little not exposed to the queer culture, like, a little uncomfortable with it. You're uncomfortable with things you don't know about, but she was totally chill about it. She was pumped for me, and that was kind of cool. It was just a cool experience. I don't know. Maybe I'm a huge nerd. I kind of decided that instead of just ending like that, I was playing with iMovie yesterday. That's what I used to edit stuff. I'm still kind of a novice with it, but um, there's sound effects on there, and I put on dogs barking the other day, and my dog thought it was real dogs, and it was super cute, so I'm gonna show you. Let's see, there's Coda. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> she's totally decided that she has no <laughs> interest in it right now even though she's done it like a hundred times maybe she's camera shy but we could always just look at how fucking cute you are high five how cute are you do you like lesbians yeah you do do you think you might be a lesbian coda do you think you might be gay yeah gay dog Mwah.